Greetings YouTube. Happy Tuesday. We have multiple videos to create today, but the first one is what I consider to be by far the most important. It's not the catalyst bundles or the changes to incursions. It is the six star featured hero crystal. If you are new to this grading system on my channel, we look at every champion in the new featured crystal. We did this with the five star hero crystal, which somehow already has only 27 days left. It's kind of amazing. And we do it now with the six star where we talk about whether or not a champion, especially considering six star shards are still so valuable in the game, uh, whether or not a champion's worth 15,000 six star shards, whether or not they're a miss, but you'll be okay with them, or whether or not they're just an anger inducing mess. Here's looking at you, both Cyclops. So let's start with the obvious 25% are going to be the new champions. So 25% are automatically given that they're going to be hits. So then if that's six out of 24, you're just hoping that maybe half of the remaining 18 are good. You know that not everybody can be hits, but you're hoping that maybe 70, 75% of the champions will be okay. So we're starting with Airwalker. That's a featured champion. Angela is an interesting case. So she was one of the best two six-star champions in the original basic pool. She has... Um, I think lost some utility in terms of her overall rating. She's still a solid champion, but when you compare Angela now to say Captain Marvel movie, it's a pretty joke comparison. So I still think she isn't a champion that you should be disappointed if you land on, but she's not going to give you that excitement that other champions would. But I'm going to say a hit for the sake of argument. Archangel, even though he does need to be awakened, is a huge exciting addition, a six star Archangel to the six star pool i think you'd be very excited to land on a six star archangel even on awaken so i'm going to say it's a big hit uh, so we're two for two carnage is an interesting choice i think for the sake of argument because i've seen a lot of six star carnages out there i'm going to say it's a miss i don't think a six star carnage even after the beta test buff is worth fifteen thousand six star shards dr strange i have awakened and even though he is a bit of a trophy champ if this was anywhere close to the pre-patch 12.0 Doctor Strange, and if you if you never saw it, if you joined afterward, and there's a lot of you watching this who don't know what Doctor Strange used to be like before his mega nerf, who was arguably ner nerfed more than anybody else, uh, you should just look up old YouTube videos. He was incredible. I would be so excited if anything close to that version of Doctor Strange was in the game. But sadly, it's just not. It's Doctor Strange at best on training wheels. So I can't give that a hit. I'm still going to say it's a miss. Guardian is featured champion, gets a hit. Gwynpool gets a hit. Six star Gwynpool, just like Archangel, is uh, really exciting to think about. Um, would you take her up over somebody like Aegon or especially Nick Fury, St Stealth Spidey? I don't think so, but it's still nice to have her in the six star pool. Hit Monkey is a featured champion. That's fine. Invisible Woman, I'm going to put down as a hit. I have seen several videos of rank two and some even rank three six star Invisible Woman, and they always are uh, pretty fun to see. So I think she's a solid six star. Magneto, now this is not the Marvel now, right? So if this is the red Magneto, I'm guessing, then that's a huge hit after the buff. I mean, Magneto could be a huge draw for this crystal for a lot of people in general. So shout out to all of you, including my man Darren, who already has both Magnetos as six stars. I am not that lucky. So, hit. Mrs. Marvel. Um, I guess this isn't Kamala Khan. This is like Miss Marvel, kind of like Captain Marvel. Miss, for sure, for 15,000 six-star shards. Red Guardian's a featured champion. Red Hulk is one of my favorite champions, one of the most underrated and underappreciated champions, even as high tier as he is listed because he clears more content for me than so many people that I traditionally would rate on paper above him and yet he's amazing so I'm gonna put Red Hulk as a big hit Rogue not so much I think she's okay I think I would not be disappointed if I landed on her in a six star basic crystal but for 15,000 six star shards definitely a miss Ronan uh the Hawkeye version I'm guessing is um uh, is a good champion. I really enjoy him as a six star. I think he's fine as a miss. I'm, so I'm going to leave it as a hit. Sasquatch featured champion. She Hulk also a fascinating. There's a lot of beta test buff champs in this pool. Definitely a hit. The hood 
I'm going to say for the sake especially of the synergy with Ghost and that Quantum Realm Trinity, even though I look at it as a Quantum Realm quad, is a hit. Uh, Tigra is a featured champ. Ultron, oh, I used to love Ultron. He actually got nerfed a little bit in patch 12.0. I think people forget about that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say he's a hit, though. I would be happy with an Ultron landing as 15,000 six-star shards. Could be a lot worse. War Machine's a miss, though. I just... Yeah, he's, he sucks on defense with the unblockable special one, but he needs a buff. And until he gets a buff, he's a miss, and I'm not going to spend more time elaborating on that. Winter Soldier is also a miss, given the 15,000 six-star shard price. Now, if you've got him with Killmonger, he is uh, pretty underrated, but otherwise, miss. Old Man Logan, I still wish he was buffed a bit better, although he's an incursion beast. Uh, I would put him in somewhere in the middle between hit or miss, but given how the, much of the community feels about him, including some of you who say I never give him his due, I'm going to put him in the hit category versus the miss. I think there's more argument for hit than miss. Yondu, underrated champion, but for the sake of this crystal, he is a miss as well. So Yondu is a miss. Winter Soldier is a miss. War Machine's a miss. Um, Rogue is a miss. Miss Marvel is a miss. Uh... Doctor Strange and Carnage are misses. That's 7 out of 24, which means 17 out of 24 champions are at least solid like Ultron to really exciting, especially with new champs that we haven't seen before like Gwynpool and Archangel. So I am not as hyped about this 6-star crystal as I was the featured 5-star. This thing I gave an A-plus grade. I just think that there are so many incredible hits from Captain America, Infinity War, to Dr. Voodoo, to Emma Frost. Gwynpool's still in this. you got Hyperion, Iceman. If you had had a six-star Hyperion and Iceman even put their way into this, if you'd replace like Winter Soldier with Hyperion, um, you'd be good. Also, hey, happy finally uh, Black Widow Deadly Origins in the Crystal Day. That's exciting. But uh, yeah, I, I think... Um, I think this is still missing some of the overall excitement of the five-star feature. Don't get me wrong. It's better than the last six-star featured. But I'm going to give this a conservative low B grade. I'm going to give it an 83%. I think that it has the upside, especially with Magneto's buff. But I still wish I could take out a Winter Soldier and a Miss Marvel and trade it out for, say, an Emma Frost and a six-star Iceman, which we know exists if you don't want to... Um, Throw a six-star Hyperion, I guess. I, I don't know. What do you think? Is this grade too generous? Is it too critical? Comment below. Let me know. And as always, thanks for watching and supporting my Marvel Casino of Champions YouTube channel. Good luck if you're going for this crystal today.